Hey everybody, it's Dragon Twenty Two Hundred here for my new LP. Now, as you can see, we are at the screen of the Venus, and wow, not even fifteen seconds into this, and I have already failed. Weenus. Really? That's a new record. Anyways, my new LP, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Now, I really, really like this game. It's actually one of my most recently gotten games. Uh, by the way, tell me if this is too loud. I'll turn it down. of that being is that the music's kind of at times really soft and in the background and other times you know the in-game effects could be louder than it well whatever I'll do adjustments later anyways reason number one for uh, for me wanting to choosing this as my next LP is because well one I really like this game uh, when I first got it uh, I think about a, was it a month or two months ago? Certainly more than a month, I'm sure. Anyways, when I got this game, I freaking went insane. I played this two days, nine, two days straight in 14 hour bursts, barely eating or sleeping. And over the course of that, I almost 100% of the game on the first time. Now there's like like two items and stuff like that that I missed. And what I missed on my first two days, and on the third day I went back and with the help of a guide, completely completed it. And I keep forgetting that's where I put the thing. Yeah. I was testing out the the thing that detects your thing thing earlier, and with my computer right smack and dab in the front of the sensor bar, I was going to have, I was going to definitely have a bit of a problem recording this. So if something falls off my computer and smacks on the ground, you'll know. Anyway, it's a new game for my awesome set of knees. Rock me. Rock legs. By the way, best, best character in Naruto right there. Rockley rocks. And I did not intend that. Anyway, it's about me in the Metroid series. I... I'm not going for a specially hard run. I'm doing this for an LP, show you where all the items are. You know, for fun in general. Uh, what was I saying? The... Oh, yeah, what? Uh, about the... You know what? I'll shut up. We got a cutscene. In the cut. Chicken corn in the... No, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. And blue screen to death. make you sit through, like, all of the, like, various things. Like, there's scannable lore in this game where you can, like, basically, uh, read about, like, the backstory and, like, the backstory behind this game. I am straight up doing right now, I'm not going to, like, read those automatically, but 
We will read the lore, just at a different time. Anyways. But it never occurred to you the fact you could actually scan right when you jump into the game. Which is preoccupied with the epicness. I'll go over controls later. Unidentified vessel, please switch to the camera radio frequency and transmit your identity code. We are standing by. Your face is standing by. Space jelly. Anyways, the uh, thing about this game is that it has like a lot of like weird code, like weird like symbols in it. That one and you. Yeah, that symbol looks like one of those like little play ring things that you just like might see like with the toddler. Anyways, proceed to the command ship Olympus. You've been cleared for docking bay five. Welcome back, Samus. Use the touch controls. Okay, here's something stupid. They make you use this here. It's the only time in the game you need to use this. Okay. Um, okay. One of the things about this game is that it often has you using a kind of... Like, well, it's got very, very well-designed motion control built into it. I'll say that much. Or sometimes the motion control can be a little bit sticky, but... A little tip that I'm say right off is that if you keep the pointer on all the t at all times, the pointer on the screen at all times, it's nothing really to worry about. It's very sensitive. If you do that. The pointer is sensitive. Come to fellow. Why are you picking on him? Yeah. Get my point. <laughs> anyway, so we come out of the ship with our cannon. Awesome bounty killing stuffs and nostalgic tunes. Anyway, now that we can actually fucking move. Now, a staple of the Prime series is that throughout the environment there are scannable objects. Blue objects are objects you do not need to scan that are important to the story, that are not important to the story. Red objects are objects that are important to the story and or bosses. Bosses, uh, interactable objects you need to use, stuff like that. And green stuff is stuff you already scanned. Come back here! I want to scan your babies. Screw you. Whatever, you're gonna get a chance to scan those a few times, I think. Anyway, one of the things I really like about the Prime series was the fact that scanning was included. Because, you know, in most Metroid stories, the storyline was kind of, like, up to your belief, or, you know, you'd have to read it on a wiki. And even though the story doesn't directly tell itself to your face, it still kind of manages to, like, get the, get the point of the story across. And more babies. There we go. Some of the blue scannable objects are going to be objects that you can scan for your uh, inventory kind of like log thing. Because when you in your thing here, you got you know like a very nice little 3D CAD drawn map. Very lovely. See, actually, it seems like looks like it was made in CAD. It's all square like and transparent. Anyway, you have a logbook containing information on creatures, research, and lore. As of the moment, we only have the landing beacon and the hunter class gunship, which is, you know, our ship. Objectives. You have your inventory, which is basically uh, your like list of weapons, basically. As you can see, the ship has upgrades to it. These bonus credits I'm not going to explain right now. As you can see, kind of click on them. But they'll be unlocked throughout the game, I'll just tell you that much. And anyways, you got controls here. Um, something, if you're... If you're having trouble through this game, I 
recommend looking at this. Because you can do things like reverse visor and hyper. You can like use the visor for plus, use the hyper for minus, which spoiler that won't be introduced until a little bit into the game. Sensitivity to like control where like how fast now defaulted to on. Lock on frame allows you to freely move your gun while you are locked onto an enemy. The advanced control sensitivity, lock on frame defaults to on. As you can see, you can have both at once. Turn rumble on and off, stuff like that. And the reverse jump and fire, like you can fire with B and jump with A if you switch it to that. But honestly, I prefer firing with A because, well, mash A to not die is better than mash B to not die. Or make others die. Anyway, enough scrolling through the screens and Please me. calibrate your weapon by shooting these targets. I'll shoot your mother. Scan! Can't scan. Basically, this is what lock-on does. If you had it, if you had lock-on freeing off, as I have, um, the target thing will will stop like moving on its own and lock on directly to your target. Well, if it was on, you could lock onto a target and move your uh, little cursor thing any way you want. Which, if you want a challenge in this game, I'd recommend you do it with it on because it's harder to hit stuff if you do that. But with it, but with it off, you can just like free it. Like I said, I'm not doing this to be like showing my skills in this game. I'm just doing this because I like this game. Anyway, hello, peoples. Stuff like that. I'm not gonna go over lore. I'm sorry, but the color blue very irritates me. I must not be able to see it at all times. It is. Basically, you find like, okay, you saw right there for a second, there was like a little red S. When you scan certain objects that are like related to like lore, research, and stuff like that, you'll get a red credit, for, uh, you'll get a credit for every time you do this. Very important. So you step on this platform, these little things pop out. Training drone. You got on the red credit because it's a, an important scannable object. Now, with this, you can juggle it as many times as you want with your shots. I kind of suck at it. However, there's a, there is a credit you can get if you shoot it a total of 20 times, 10 times, well, 10 times, then 20 times. Anyway, I blow at this. Scan stuff, scan stuff. And, fucking, okay. I'm checking. You know you got your stuffs. Spouting out. Okay, when you scan those, those little bastards will pop out. Little zoom! We can go up in the direction of, and we somehow teleport down here. Hi, peoples. There's this dude here. There's this dude over here. I want to poke him. Shiny. Let's poke all the people. Hey, look, a boat! It's a space boat. Here you got all your fancy equipments and stuff. Blast shield on. Maybe we can go up to this. I guess you have to scan first. Yeah, there's something in the game that won't activate unless you scan. Press for access code. Login, Samus Aran. Access code 13576. That code is the same for every file, so you really don't need to, uh... Oh, yeah. I guess I never really explained that. When you hold the minus button, you can go into this little, uh, view. And if you move it to the upper portion, you go into the scan, this is how you scan things. This is offline at the moment. We'll actually get it within, like, next episode or two. 
And then this one will unlock until later in the game. Don't worry about it now. Anyway, we have a shiny thing. One, three, five, seven, six. Can't hit the enter key. Where's the enter key? Okay, right here, you get a scan of this guy. This guy's Gore. Gore is a... I can't really call him a half robot, half guy, because he's only 6% human. However, he's awesome. He's a nice guy, really. Until he tries to kill you. Spoilers! Not really. This game is several years old now. I really don't have to worry about it. Which, by the way, policy on games, if it's more than three years old, I'm not going to worry about a damn about spoilers. Matter of fact, I spoil myself on purpose in a lot of games. But pretty much only about controls. Because I have a childhood fear of not... Wait, why the hell am I explaining myself? Anyway, from here you can scan that thing. That, of course. Alright, now here's something you'll see off in the game. You have to pull, twist, and push. If I can back up a little. Just back up in your mother. Yay! Standing skills for pussies! Easy to find. Yeah, we got. You can press the C button to go into this little morph ball mode. Please approach the scan it's like terminal. Awesome. I didn't mean to shoot that. Anyways, press I to get to your not diabetes. Status clear. Done. Game. Go clear. There's a very suit online. What? Six hours! Clear for the command bridge. Yeah, command bridge. Mother. Oh, twist push. Over here. And explaining another controls is jumping! You press B once to jump, B again to make a double jump. If this is Metro Prime 2, you could jump a third time if you were in water. FYI. Aren't you serious, Aaron? It's an honor to meet you. It's an honor to meet you too, fool. Anyway, do that. Scout thing. We're there. Sorry, this part's very boring, but meh. Hold on. It's already up to 18 minutes, and I have been spamming, like explaining stuff. Spam, spam, spam. Nothing to worry about over there because you cannot actually. You might be glad to hear that the fucking nunchuck thing might be coming back because, well, it's been acting up again lately. Anyway, there's nothing scannable. There's plenty of things scanned here, but don't worry about it. I'd say skip everything here because nothing actually gives you lore in here. Except maybe this. Yeah, maybe that. Anyway, that guy will stop you from going where you need to go. You have to go down here. Because he will tell you to save. Considering how much time I've wasted, I would probably do stuff. Anyway, something about the shard shot that I like is that you can get the effects of. So like some items need to be hit with a regular shot, some things need to be hit with a charge shot. However, you can try. If you need to hit something with a specifically specific charge shot, aside from enemies, you can actually just hold A for like half a second, not even half a second, like a fourth of a second, and you're good. Anyway, save station. And as my rambling has approached critical levels, it infects you with all your watching viewerness. Game has been saved, energy fully replenished. Thank you, this has been Dragon M2200. Watch out for part two. Okay, thanks, and my mouse is getting dumb. Let's just stop this at a nice 20 minutes. Five, four, did you want kidney punch?